Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something very short and simple and very useful in the event your ship doesn't have one. And that is the jump assist ring, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a jump drive attachment for you to connect up any of your ships to, and you can use the jump drive to jump long distances in the event you couldn't fit a jump drive into your build. It comes with thrusters so you can actually fly around via the ring and turn yourself around to make sure you're lined up in the right direction. It's got its own power source so you don't have to charge it up yourself. So you can just drop it and leave it and come back to it when you need to jump. Pressing F10 and finding the jump assist in the spawn menu. There it is. This thing is only 240 large blocks. It uses no scripts, no mods and no DLC packs. So there we go, we've got a nice bit of text all the way around here if you want to read that up on the Steam Workshop page. So yes, let's get started, shall we? So let's just have a very quick look around the outside, not too much to talk about, and I'll do a demonstration with my little pod over there. So over here, we've got a bunch of little connectors for you to connect up to. You may want to replace some of the blocks surrounding it with merge blocks if you're not happy with a connector, but that's entirely up to you whether you want to alter this. Yes, we've got a connector there to reverse up to, or a connector there to drop a ship onto, which is what I'm going to do with that. Got little lights all the way around this, and plenty of little thrusters to be able to manoeuvre this. So at the bottom here, we've got some thrusters, some grey, white and black blocks. We've got some antennas to make sure we can always find it, no matter where we are. As we move further along the side of the ring, here are some more iron thrusters, some more lights on the side, and a nice red and blinking white. Coming all the way up to the top, this is where the jump drive is. Where once again, some more iron thrusters. Then coming down the side here, some more iron thrusters, a green light with another blinking white light, and that just about covers it. It's a very simple design, and it works very well for a medium to small size ship. So now, let's go and play around with it, because there's not too much else to talk about. It should be fairly self-explanatory. You just connect up, you take control of it, and then you jump. So coming over to my little pod and heading on the inside, like so. Let's just close that up, come into the seat, and just fly it along until we get over to a connector. So just dropping all the way down and making sure I'm not running out of hydrogen anytime soon. No, I'm not. Now just come and connect up. That was a bad miss. I'm terrible at connecting these up. There we go. We can now going to come across to there. We can connect ourselves up. And then, if we want to, we can come over and find the remote control block called the JAR remote control press number one and now we have control over the entire ring we can fly this around like a ship if we wanted to or we can use it for its intended design and jump with the jump drives let's go ahead and do that right now get away from the albatross which is what i blew up in a previous or coming video so three seconds two one here we go and lovely particle effects everywhere so there we are, we've just jumped, I can disconnect myself and be on my way, and this thing will just go and charge itself up. But as for the actual hotbar controls, number one is for the jump drive, on and off. Two and three are to control its range. Four is to jump, five is for our spotlight, six is for our interior lights all the way around this ring, seven and eight is for our connectors, so seven is for one I'm connected to, eight is for the one down there, so you could connect two ships up to this if you wanted to. Nine is for our antenna on and off, and that is that. If I go and press four again, how much we charge? It's going up pretty fast. So if I just go and disconnect myself like so and pull myself away from the ring so we can know what is the actual ring and what is my ship, then just find an access point somewhere on this. There we go. Now let's see what this thing had. So we're powered by reactors, got a few spotlights, a few lights on there, lots and lots of thrusters. And that is that. It's a very simplistic design that works really well if you don't have access to a jump drive for your ship. As you can see there, we are slowly charging up. We're almost ready. Should be about 50% by now. Let me go for a, another jump. Let's go and drop myself all the way down once again and connect myself up. Take remote control, press 1. Oh, we're only at 35%. Okay, but yes, that is it for the jump assist ring. There's not too much else to talk about. It's just a nice little ring for you to fly around if you wanted to. It looks kind of funny with this little pod attached onto it. It's a very useful thing if you can't fit a jump drive on your ship. 
So anyway, there will be a link to it in the description below along with a link to the Skybox. The pod itself is my own personal pod and it's still under construction. I simply slapped a connector on underneath because I still need to work out how to fit that on. And thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.